In this video, we'll be exploring the sidebar setup and sidebar widget setup. I believe that one of Suffusion Theme's strengths is its fully customizable sidebar settings and layouts. Suffusion Theme offers its user an incredible variety when it comes to sidebar layout and customization. Before you modify any of your own sidebar widget settings, here is what your sidebar will probably look like. It will probably contain a section for categories of posts, archives, and meta. There are a couple of sections of the Suffusion backend that need to be accessed and modified before you can begin customizing your sidebars. First, you'll need to set the layout for your default sidebar or sidebars. This is done from the Suffusion dashboard under Layouts. Here, as covered previously, you'll define how many sidebars you want and exactly where you want them positioned on your pages and posts, and the styling for each sidebar. I prefer to use the main sidebar widget as a secondary left-hand navigation. Studies have shown that a left-hand navigation listing the Tier 2 pages of a site outperform websites with other navigation types. The left-hand sidebar navigation is one trait of profitable, high-traffic websites that you really need to consider. Now, while you're at it, go ahead and set all of the sidebar settings in the layout section here since you'll probably be using these alternative sidebars or no sidebars within certain pages of your website. You can actually set different pages to display your sidebars in a variety of ways. Remember, I'm talking about pages here. This doesn't apply to posts. Let me quickly show you how this works. When you create a page, there's an option on the right-hand side that's titled Attributes. Click on the down arrow that says Template. Here, you can choose which sidebar layout you'd like to display for this particular page. The default setting will automatically be selected unless you choose to modify it. Post layout settings can be modified, but the process is slightly different. Here's how it's done. You'll find this option in the section titled Additional Options for Suffusion when you're creating or editing a post. If you can't see this section, you may need to activate it. To activate it, look for the tab near the top that says Screen Options. When you click on this, it will drop down a tab and show you your screen options. You can activate the additional options for Suffusion here. While you're in this section, Look over and see if there are any settings that you want activated as well. Now, back under your post edit, you'll see a section titled Additional Options for Suffusion. In this section, click on the tab titled Layout. When you click on the drop down menu, you'll be given a list of layout options to choose from. Simply select the sidebar layout that you want to apply to this post. Now, from the Suffusion dashboard, navigate to the sidebar section. Suffusion comes with eight widget areas where you can add widgets. By default, Sidebar 1 and the right header widgets are enabled. In addition, you have a set of ad hoc widgets that can be invoked in your posts and pages using shortcode. This will be explained in more detail in a later video. If you're familiar with jQuery masonry, you can use it to adjust the layout of the widget area in the header and footer. The use of jQuery masonry is beyond the scope of this video series. When you're working with the sidebars and widgets, there are two places that you'll be navigating to and from as you make modifications. It's important at this point to understand that every element on your website or blog should have a specific purpose that should be very clear to your visitors. Making a site that's simple, easy to navigate, and fully user-friendly is one of the most important aspects of site development. So make it a point to choose your sidebars and widgets wisely. There's nothing worse than a cluttered website with elements that are of no value to its visitors. If you have the navigation bar at the top of your website activated, you can use the top bar right widgets to display information in a small area in the upper right hand corner within the top navigation bar. You must first define how you want to display the widget. I personally think that the slide open option is cool and it could be used to offer some type of special or promotion on your site. After you've set your options, navigate over to the widgets page and add the content into the respective widget. The top bar right widgets area can be found about halfway down the page. Remember, to make any widget area active on your website, you must have some kind of content placed into that widget area on the widget settings page.
The widgets area above the header settings can be modified here. You can create one to five columns in this widget. If you have more than one column, each widget is placed within its own column. If you choose one column, the elements will be stacked vertically in successive order, with each element being the width of the entire page. The widget that is contained in the header can be up to 300 pixels wide and is located on the right hand side of the header image. This widget can have up to five columns. However, since the max width for this widget is 300 pixels, having any more than two or three columns may not produce an element that's useful for your visitors. The right header widget is by default activated. The default function of this widget is a search bar that's located on the right hand side of the navigation bar below the header. It can be turned on or off here. On the widgets page, if you've placed another widget in the right header widget area, it will override the default search bar. This is a very small widget area, so don't put too much content into it. Sidebar 1 is also by default activated. This sidebar is considered the main theme sidebar. Anything that you find in the widgets section can be placed into sidebar 1. Each widget in sidebar 1 can be displayed as individual boxes with the theme colors activated or as a flat sidebar with no separation of individual widgets, or it can be displayed as a tabbed sidebar. In the settings below this, you can further customize the widget box by changing font colors and link effects. Sidebar 1 bottom, sidebar 2, sidebar 2 bottom, and the wide sidebar top and bottom are all essentially set up in the same manner as sidebar 1, so I'm not going to cover that right now. So you can take a look at that yourself and look at the options that are available. To use the widget area below the header, you must first enable the header. The widget area below the header can have from one to five columns, and the widgets can be shown as individual boxes or they can be displayed as a flat single area that spans the width of the page. There are also a number of styling effects available for these widgets. The widget area above the footer is set up exactly the same way as the widget area below the header. There are five ad hoc widget areas available for use. I think that these ad hoc widget areas are extremely important because they can be placed in your pages and posts using shortcode. These ad hoc widgets can function in a variety of different ways to allow you to create one thing and then quickly place that thing on pages and posts. If this information ever needs to be modified on all of the pages and posts, all you have to do is modify the one ad hoc widget and it's adjusted site-wide. Let me give an example. I have a website that has a pricing structure that people see before they make a purchase. This pricing structure is laid out on several pages of the site. I use an ad hoc widget to place this content on the pages and posts. If my prices ever change, I don't have to change every single page and post where the information was contained. I just have to go to the ad hoc widget and in the widget settings page and modify that content. The change will then be site wide. In another video, I'll go through a demonstration of an ad hoc widget setup. The last sidebar that's available is the static tabbed sidebar widget. This sidebar places multiple widgets in tabs seen in a single window. This allows viewing of different widgets with a single click of a button with no waiting. If you have regular users that know where to locate things on your site, this widget may be a very good one to use. I do have one thing to say about this widget area. It can only be placed above the main left or right sidebar. You can accomplish the same effect of the tabbed widgets with several other widget areas, so I don't know if this function will actually really be worth looking into much. In the next video, we'll look at the back-end settings for Suffusion theme.